I'll be honest, um, I, I didn't really know of Mohini too well. I've, I've heard her name and I saw a couple videos online, but um, when Mark asked me to be a part of the, the session, I looked her up even more and checked out her Instagram. Obviously, she's an incredible bassist, as we know, but, um, you know, for me, listening to the track and uh, hearing her sing, I was like, man, well, she's obviously just as incredible a songwriter and a composer and a singer. Uh, yeah, honored to work with her. When I played the song, um, first I thought, man, this is really hard. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just such a good vibe. Uh, super funky, super, like, uh, musically interesting. So, um, yeah, it was just a blast to be a part of it. I would imagine uh, Mohini being such an amazing bassist and musician and composer. I'm sure she was very specific on what she wanted. Uh, I think she dealt mostly with Mark. Uh, he was he was kind of in charge of creating the horn lines with her, um, so I'm sure she had just nothing but amazing notes to give Mark. And with their powers combined, came up with the horn parts that are on the record. I actually didn't know it was a scratch recording. Uh, I thought it was the actual, like, final product. Um, if Mark hadn't told me that it was scratch, then I would have just thought it was good to go. Um, but obviously, I loved it, and I know the finished product is even more amazing. It was about a, a couple months ago that I was approached by my good friend and saxophonist on the on the track, uh, Mark Hartsuch. Uh, he asked me if I was available and willing to do uh, a little recording session and told me what it was for and I hopped on board. <laughs>